figured while I was uh, going to put this back together, I'd show you guys how to do that real quick. Uh, this little ribbon cable right here is for your control buttons. It's uh, pretty delicate, so be careful with it. Uh, you have to feed it up underneath uh, this little uh, clip bracket here. Let's see if I can get it from over here. Come on, focus. There we go. You gotta feed it underneath here like that, and then this uh, plugs in into here like this. There you go. It just feeds in here. Okay, make sure I got it in. Looks like it's in. All right, and then you pick this up. This whole assembly up is one, and you turn it upside down and set it up here. Obviously, I need two hands to do that, so. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause it and I'll show you when I've got it setting up on top of here. Yeah, a new plan of attack. I decided it'd probably be better just to lay the scope down and uh, show you that way. All right, you've got a little uh, ground cable here. Uh, you can uh, hook it up right here. It goes on this. Might have to lift this up a little bit and set it up here. There we go. Yeah, hook this up. Yeah, this is your ground point for it. This is your uh, your communications port. It goes right in here. Uh, pay attention to the keyways. Notice there's three keyways on top, and there's uh, like four notches on the bottom. Uh, the notches don't really matter. Uh, they just it goes into there, but the three keyways go into those three top notches up there. So I'll show you that. So let's get this in here. Whoops. Just gotta press a little bit harder before you let go of it. There we go. Get my hand up here. Get a little tweak. Always when you uh dealing with things that are static sensitive or working on electronics that are really sophisticated like this, always ground your fingers first or use an ESD mat and an ESD strap. Okay, then what happens is uh these two items uh, they get pushed up, up this way. Again, watch your little ribbon cable. I'm going to try to do this one-handed for y'all. Goes up here like this. Okay, I'm going to lean this one against that one there. All right. And there's a little, there's a little notch right there for that ribbon. So make sure you get it in that notch so you don't cut that ribbon. And then you uh, set this up in the. Uh, in the hole here. I'm gonna go check that ribbon. Obviously, it looks like it's in the slot there. And then once you get that up there, uh, lay it in, just push it in like that. That's pretty much uh, pretty much all it is to those once you get the bezel removed. All right, now that I got this here. Uh, I'm gonna have to pull these screws back out so I can put this on but I didn't want the CRT flopping around so that's why they're there so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna check this slot here real quick again make sure that she's uh, she's in there and look inside and it appears to be loose so that's fine all right so let me go ahead and get those screws out and uh, Get it up there. Okay, I stood the scope up on end to make this process a little easier. There's two on the bottom down here, and then there's one here. That's for this one. But on the top, there's two. Let me show those to you. On the top, there's two. And these ones right here go in these holes. So it's kind of a combination of both the CRT and this. So let me uh, get those out and show it to you. Okay, I got them out, and if you're curious, those are torque tip T15s. So, uh, let's put this on here, like this. There we go. Looks like we're going to have to feed this back in here a little bit. I might have to pull this back up so it'll sit down. But, uh, let me go ahead and get these screws in here. There we go. Come on, get down in the hole. There we are. And get your uh, T15 in there. And 
screw it down. Sorry about the autofocus on the uh, camera there. Here we go, let's get the other one. This down. I'll leave them a little bit loose so I can wiggle it if I need to. And see, I got my pile of screws over here, so I'll grab another one. And let's get this one in. I said I'm going to leave them a little bit loose. I'm going to go ahead and uh, lift the panel back up and set this down in there again. Uh, I need two hands for that, so I got to let it go. I got to pause it. Okay, I think I'm going to try to do this for you guys one handed. Uh, you just reach in the back here, put your belly up against it or something, and push it out. Uh, push the ribbon back in there into that slot, and then you can. Uh, Slide it back in. There we go. And fit in just nice. The ribbon is protected. Let's see. Came in here just fine. There we go. All right. I think I got that in. Now I can uh, go ahead and tighten these downs on the screen here. So let me get those tight. All right. I stood the uh, scope up on end here. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with this, you know that there is a uh, uh, there's a floppy drive in here for uh, using preset programs and so forth. So I have to reinstall that. So I'm going to show you how to reinstall it. Okay. Now when you go to install this, there's three main pieces. Uh, you have a like a mounting type plate, and you have a uh, a type of shield type plate. Uh, the mounting plate goes in first, and it goes. Uh, right in here you can see there's a, a couple of screw holes for it right there so you can go ahead and you can uh, put those screws in right now so let's go ahead and uh, at least get them started there we go. Well, let me get them in you don't need to see all that I'm sure you know how to screw screws okay Got them snugged up now. Doing pretty good. So let's get this other plate in here. Oh, I got a little bit of dust on that. <sighs> Don't want that in there. Let me clean all this up. Okay, here we go. Now I've got the, uh, the piece in here. This actually goes down like this. And there's a slotted area right there. That goes right there. So you put this in here. And you drop that down. And I guess this kind of makes a smooth surface or something or it can't be to hold this in because they're you know my goodness you know there's three screws holding that plate on so it sits right there just like that and then the uh the floppy drive goes in this way uh, i guess you, it doesn't really matter it'll go in either way so you slide that in there we go got it hooked over here I, I suspect it actually goes in from the front looks like it'll work from the back too all right then there's some uh, there's some screw holes for the caddy right here and uh, let's see if I can't focus on it there we go so there's the screw holes and there's no there's one on each side there's none on the front even though they have uh, a screw hole right here so let me get those screws in for you. Okay, I got the uh, I got the screw in this side and the one on the other. I just haven't tightened them up, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten it up. Just it's just aluminum, so you don't have to over tighten it, but snug it up pretty good. There we go. There's one right here. Now notice this one uses the front hole and this one uses the back hole. I don't think it. Uh, don't know why it is, but they did it that way. And then the next thing we're going to do is hook up this ribbon cable. This ribbon cable goes in right here. And you pull this little blue part up to unlock the keeper. And you slide 
the ribbon cable until it bottoms out and then while pushing in on this with say your finger here my middle finger uh, use your fingers and you push this down and that locks the cable in and then just you know kind of make sure this is up out of the way of everything there we go and uh, now you've got your floppy installed so that's how you install the floppy and obviously uh, removing it is reverse of that order except go out the front <laughs> don't try to put it in because then you get you get hung up on this connector here uh, right here so let's push this back down that's the, the keeps and ejectors for this cable so anyways uh, next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, we'll put the bezel on it okay now I have the bezel here and I'm going to do a, a little close-up uh, there's some little spikes down here and what those spikes are for is they go in these holes and they hold the little rubber uh, keypad selection in <laughs> keep forgetting you can't can't set it down or it'll push the buttons out all right there we go and then over off in this corner there's like an extra one that's a uh, it's a little different but it holds it in pretty good so make sure these are all locked in really well right here and then make sure all the buttons protrude out and then once you get that then you can just lay it on top of this so let me show you that just uh, grab the bezel and gently put it up or it'll fall out you can do it sideways too I, i've done it sideways i've done it this way uh, the last couple times i did it i just did it while i was standing up i might have to go do it the other way so let's see here let's try this let's put it up here so that the not pushing on it. There we go. Let's get this down here. All right. Let's see if we can pick it up. Turn it over now. There we go. And then what you do is you just uh, center it up and push down on it. Just like that. Just uh, kind of snap it into place. Make sure that the, uh, the drive goes through the hole. There it slides still a little bit, so we just push it down. And it just snaps in, just like that. Works just fine. Now it's all back together. Make sure all your buttons are, are up and working. There we go. So now we have the measurements for a uh, uh, possible OCD conversion, and you guys now know how to get uh, get your front panel out. Uh, normally, you can just snap this out. Mine's kind of sticking right here. I don't know if there's a screw in it or something, so I didn't force it. Uh, I'm used to the 620, not the 7 400, or the 700 series. There may be some slight differences. I don't know. I don't think there is, but... Uh, We'll see. But, uh, you know, I'm just kind of taking my time with it and being ginger with it because obviously I don't want to damage such a nice piece of equipment. I mean, you can see this is, it's fairly clean. There was barely any dust on this when I got it. Uh, somebody's already been through uh, and replaced all the electrolytics in it. I can tell that it was professionally done. Uh, That's what I do for a living. I'm also a qualified uh, solder technician. So this, whoever did it, did a fantastic job. They didn't dirty up the boards or anything. It was just, just a really good job. And uh, so anyways, so this is the uh, scope. And uh, I'm going to press on trying to figure out how to get the CRT to work. So uh, let me uh, get this done up and be what I can't figure it out. If you know anything or have any tips, by all means, drop me a line or a comment. Thanks. Bye.